All right, so the one plus 12. What's going on, everyone? Josh Quinones here, and it has been just about a little over three months now that I've had my one plus 12 right here. And in this video, I kind of just want to update you guys on how the one plus 12 has been holding up over these past three months. And I'll try to keep this as quick as possible because honestly, not really much has changed since my original review for the one plus 12 right here. I went back and watched it just to make sure. You know, nothing major has changed, nothing major has happened. And honestly, I pretty much still feel exactly the same about the OnePlus 12. Still one of the best price uh, flagship devices that you can get right now. And OnePlus is still having their promo to where you can trade in any device in any condition and still get $100 off of the price. So still starting at around $699 if you do want to you know, take advantage of that promo. So when it comes to price, still one of the best priced flagship devices out on the market right now. Still a beautiful looking device. Now when it comes to performance, like I said, not really much has changed. If anything, it's still performing really, really good. I think I've had two moments where this device kind of froze up on me and I kind of had to restart the device. And I don't think it was because of the phone itself, I think it was because of the app that I was using because I noticed this only happened when I was using my video editor app, KindMaster. That's uh, the video editing app that I use on my smartphone. And it happened two times. And then after that, it just never happened again. So I don't know, maybe uh, the makers of that app ca uh, came out with an update and ended up fixing it because since then, I have not experienced that problem. The phone is still performing like a boss. So again, I don't think it was the phone itself that was freezing up, but rather the app itself. But other than those two times, I mean, the phone has still been performing like a boss. Now, battery life. I did make a separate video about this, talking about battery life, that it is actually my favorite feature here on the OnePlus 12. The best battery life that I personally have ever experienced on a smartphone. I'm able to get easily around two days of usage with this device, of course, you know, depending on my usage, on how I'm using the device that day or the second day, I'm able to get around seven hours up to 10 hours of screen on time. I mean, there's a lot that I do on this phone and it's able to handle it all without dying, you know, midday. I don't ever, ever have to worry about throwing this phone on the charger. And if you want to hear more about my experience when it comes to battery life, go check out that dedicated video that I made. I think I titled it my favorite feature on the OnePlus 12 or something like that. But yeah, Battery life, amazing, my favorite feature. And not only that, but charging speeds as well. Still one of the fastest charging phones I've ever used. And you know, that Super VOOC charging, you just can't beat that. I know it's at 100 watts super fast or Super VOOC charging, you know, outside of the States, but here in the States, it is uh, topped out at 80 watts, which I have no complaints with. I mean, it is perfectly fine for me, more than fast enough for me. Honestly, I really don't need my phone to charge any faster than 80 watt fast charging. So performance still good, battery life still good, charging speed still good. Well, what about the cameras? Now, I do plan on making a separate dedicated full uh, camera walkthrough video and you know, uh, just giving you guys my full review on the cameras themselves. But just to give you guys a, just a quick update here on what the cameras have been like here on the OnePlus 12. Honestly, I have been enjoying my experience with the cameras on this phone right here and I I'll be honest when you know the first announcement was made for the OnePlus 12 right here you know kind of looking back at the OnePlus 11 I know the OnePlus 11 didn't have the best cameras on a smartphone you know they got the job done but they weren't really the best so I was kind of iffy about the cameras on the OnePlus 12 but after using them for some time I'm actually really really enjoying the cameras here on the OnePlus 12 when it comes to taking photos. I'm able to take some really good photos. And I know a lot of it has to do with the hardware on these cameras right here. OnePlus is actually taking advantage of the hardware with the cameras here on the OnePlus 12. And I, I really enjoy the style that comes out of these cameras right here. Uh, no matter what kind of picture I'm taking, whether it's during the day, even night photos come out good. If I'm taking photos of flowers, food, whatever it is, I'm able, I'm able to actually get some really good shots with the cameras on this device. So they definitely take care of business when it comes to taking photos. Now, when it comes to taking videos, still not the best video I've ever seen coming out of cameras in a smartphone, but you know, they have still been taking some acceptable video. Honestly, for me, it's good enough to take video to post here on the channel because some of you may not know this, but I've actually used the OnePlus 12 right here to record a few videos here on the channel without even saying anything or even to record some B-roll for other videos. So yeah, a lot of you may not have noticed and that's how good the cameras can be when it comes to taking video. Of course, you know, if you have the proper lighting, the proper setup, the proper angles and all that, you can get some good video with the cameras here on the OnePlus 12 again not the best i've ever seen in a smartphone but still passable and still gets the job done okay now i know i mentioned that i still think that this is a beautiful device which it is but 
I do have to talk about durability because of course, you know, throughout the time of having your device, you're gonna want it to hold up, not just with performance, battery life, or the cameras or whatever, but you're gonna want it to hold up physically as well. You're not gonna want it to break on you, you know, when if you happen to accidentally drop it even with the case. Now I gotta say, the back has been holding up great. The cameras have been holding up great. Even the display has still been holding up good. It hasn't cracked, but when it comes to scratches, it's not very scratch resistant. This is one thing that I wish OnePlus uh, would have made just a, a little bit better than what it is. It scratches pretty easily, I would say. I don't use a screen protector. I don't have that pre-installed screen protector on here anymore, and I haven't really found a good one to use with the OnePlus 12 right here. So I've kind of just running, been running without a screen protector. I do use a case most of the time, but when it comes to the display right here, no screen protector. And I do have kind of a, I'll throw, I'll throw up some B-roll right here so you guys can see it yourself, but I do have kind of like a deep scratch here to the right of the display, kind of in the middle and then up at the top uh, middle as well. And just a bunch of little micro scratches throughout the display itself. And that's just from having the phone in my pocket. I have dropped it, you know, a few times, but I haven't dropped it, you know, outside in rocks or where there's sand or anything like that. So this has to be just for me, you know, taking it in and out of my pocket. And I have used it at work as well. I do work a construction job. So I'm sure, you know, dust does get into the pockets of my pants, but I never get any rocks or anything like that in my pants. So I'm sure, you know, just a little bit of dust here and there has scratched up this display. And it's nothing that's like super bothersome. I mean, it's still a beautiful display when I am using the device, but it's when the, you know, the screen is off I, that's when I can start noticing, you know, all the little scratches on the display. But when I'm using the device, they're not noticeable at all because of course, you know, you got all the colors and everything showing through the display and you can comfortably use it. I mean, still a beautiful looking display. It's just, you know, when it comes to scratching, you can expect it to get scratched up here and there. Now, another thing, I am still stuck on the March update. Now look at it here. I'll, I'll look it up right here live on camera for you guys. So if I click on software update, you can see right here that it says my phone is up to date still on the March uh, 5th update right there. And we are now currently, let's see, what's the date today? It's May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> but it is May 4th and I'm still stuck on the March update. And I have been checking and checking and checking. So I don't know what's taking so long for this update, or I don't know if it's just my device. If you have the OnePlus 12, let me know down in the comments below if you've gotten any update for, you know, April or even now in May. Because I know we were supposed to get an update, you know, with uh, some AI features uh, for the OnePlus 12 right here, which I'm really looking forward to checking out and seeing how good that's going to work. But I haven't gotten anything. So not really sure what's going on with the updates. I'm hoping OnePlus pushes out an update soon for this device, you know, just to further make the experience just that much more enjoyable, especially if they're planning on bringing AI to this device right here. But I mean, other than that, the OnePlus 12 right here is still a winner, at least in my book. You really can't beat the price and what you get for that price with the OnePlus 12 right here, a phone that I could personally definitely recommend. And I know that there is a lot of love for this phone right here. And I can tell because of the videos that I put out and the interactions that I get with those videos. A lot of the OnePlus 12 videos here on the channel are actually performing better than a lot of my Samsung videos. So that alone tells me how many people are interested in the OnePlus 12 right here. And even in the comments, I read a lot of you guys telling me about how much you love your OnePlus 12, how great it's been for you. And I know there's a few people out there to where, you know, your experience hasn't been the best. And I'm sorry for that. You know, one phone isn't going to work out for everyone which is a good reason why we have tons of options out there. But I mean, for most people, I mean, the OnePlus 12 is going to be more than enough for you. And if you find yourself interested in the OnePlus 12, I'll have a link down in the description below so you can check one out for yourself. Again, definitely a phone that I can recommend. So this has just been a quick update on what the OnePlus 12 has been over these past little over three months for me. I've still been loving it. It has been taking care of business. And I know that I personally, you know, am switching back and forth between, you know, devices because I'm testing out different devices. But there was a moment where I was using the OnePlus 12 for about four weeks straight. Was it three weeks or four weeks? One of those because my S24 Ultra had to get, you know, set or it wasn't working properly. Something happened. I wasn't able to really use it, you know, outside of the home. So the OnePlus 12 was my main device and it was taking care of business. I could definitely use this as a main device from here on out if I really wanted to because it's taking care of everything that I needed to. And it just pairs super well with my OnePlus Watch 2 right here. Perfect pair. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you have a OnePlus 12 for yourself. 
How is it treating you? Or if you are planning on getting one for yourself, I have a full playlist of one plus 12 videos here on the channel that will help you make that decision on whether or not you want to buy it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.